Hey, what's going on, everybody? All right, Taylor Taylor to coaching. And it's time for a new series. Thank you for watching Mars and all my other series. It's time for Jupiter. Yes, yes, the great benefic. It's a beneficial planet. And it's your greater benefic if you were born in the daytime. So like above the ascendant first, you know, like in the first house or really 12th, 11, 10, 9, 8, and the seventh house if it's above the descendant. Jupiter is about expansion, right? The biggest planet, oh my goodness. It's your philosophies, your beliefs, your luck, your fortune, being optimistic, your higher knowledge, your wisdom, right? That jovial energy, being positive. And, you know, you're not just your philosophies, but like your beliefs, your belief system, more like religion, not spirituality, like Pisces or the 12th house. So Jupiter, um, you know, it's this area that you really need to kind of focus on because you can manifest. It's good for your career, your education, your knowledge, your overall positivity and beliefs. So I'm gonna start. I don't like to go in order, but I might in this one. We'll see. You guys can make comments or recommendations down below, but I will start today with Jupiter and Aries. I was going to start in Cancer where it's exalted, but I said, ah, I'll start in Aries. Now, Jupiter's at home in Sagittarius, right? And also Pisces. Those are the, it rules both of those. So when you get to Jupiter in Aries, the Ram, the cardinal fire sign, ruler of the first house, and this can work for the first house, but I'm just doing Jupiter and Aries, okay? Um, it's, you know, what's Aries? So you know what Jupiter is, what's Aries? Aries is ruled by Mars, that cardinal fire sign, right? Initiating, assertive, pioneering, the leader, aggressive, assertive energy. Ah, the ram, right? Attacking, I mean, come on. You know, Aries. So here, oh, let's get to the famous people, right? Uh, oh my God, uh, Whitney Houston, rest in peace. Then you got uh, Michelle Obama, Jeff Bezos, Angelina Jolie, Johnny Depp. You get to the musical artists. We're talking about Lauren Hill, Andre 3000, Kendrick Lamar, 50 Cent. Okay. Um, I think that's, you know, pretty much it. But that's an impressive list. Just looking at Michelle Obama and Jeff Bezos and you see Angelina Jolie um, and even those artists from Whitney, you, you, you can see this um, positive manifesting leadership, pioneering um, outlook on life. Now, you need to get your whole chart done. So hit me up at taylor2coaching at gmail.com because it helps you understand, right? So where do you find your fortunes? Where do you pew, shoot the arrow, right? Sagittarius, the arrow, Jupiter rules Sagittarius. The arch of the arrow, where do you focus your fortunes? Where are you going to be blessed and fortunate and optimistic? Where can you manifest success? So the house does matter, but with the sign, it's hard, right? You might not like leadership, but when you have Jupiter and Aries, you're a natural leader. Now, if you have Jupiter in the first house, right? You can have this big expansive personality or big like feature nose, or just you're bigger than life. You're, you are a leader. I'm not gonna get into all the people, but just right off the bat, Malcolm X has got Jupiter in the first house. Okay. Um, so does Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching. So, but I'll say this with Jupiter and Aries and mine's not an Aries, it's in Scorpio. Jupiter and Aries, you really don't like to be led by other people. So you've got to really understand and kind of this energy, you, you'll grow into it and you'll do better after your Saturn returns and your Mars matures at 20, between seven, 27 and 30. Jupiter stays in a sign for about a year, you know? Um, so, you know, if you were born in 19, 
70 or 58 or 82 or 94 or 2006 or 2018, your Jupiter is in Scorpio, for an example. Okay. Um, and, you know, and like I said, it can spill over into like 71 a little bit because it just depends on the degrees and when it was in what sign and what time, right? But um, Jupiter in Aries is going to be, um, they'll initiate sometimes without the knowledge that they really need or the wisdom, right? Because that assertive, aggressive energy, they just want to like, I came up with this brilliant thought and this, I just learned this new knowledge and I researched and then boom, I want to, you know, go out there and do it. Well, it might not be, you know, we're not looking for perfection, but it might not be what you need to do. So the more you can kind of, and that's hard for Aries to get internal and know yourself, then you can be the better leader and others will want to lead you. Now, also, these are great coaches, great motivational speakers, um, really dynamic, uh, passionate preachers. But because it's Aries and that's the great I am, cardinal fire, these people can be kind of, I don't want to say selfish, but the, their philosophy and their beliefs, it's, it's, it's not for the masses, it's for them. They're going to preach for their own blessings and success. They might have the mega church and they're getting mega chips in their mega pockets. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's not to say that it can be super bad. You could get yourself depressed if no one's following you and leading you. You have to learn how to be a good leader. And a good leader is willing to follow, to absorb, study, and learn. So if you know you have Jupiter and Aries you're starting off your career, well, find good leaders and know how to take notes, research, study, do your internships, and then you can kind of walk in those footsteps and become the, the leader that you see them to be. I mean, think about Jeff Bezos, brilliant leader. Michelle Obama, not wanting to be involved in politics, but as a first lady, just a natural leader. Angelina Jolie, 50 Cent, Lauren Hill. You know, Winnie Houston. So there's a lot of dynamics there. A lot of things you can see or themes and things you could look at and study. But just know you know, it, it, it's going to fall in Gemini and fall in Virgo and be in detriment in, in Capricorn because it's exalted in Cancer. So Jupiter and Aries it's not a great placement. It's not a bad placement. It's just you can be, you're, you could expanse your, you know, your ego, your leadership, your cracking the whip. You could be like uh, Bobby Knight, like, ah, you know, like <laughs> too much. So you have to find um, that balance, but find that wisdom. Aries doesn't like to be introspective and, and, and do not that they don't want to do the research, because they're brilliant minds, but they're risk takers. So you here, you can be an extreme risk taker. You can learn some knowledge and then be like, I'm ready to share with the world. You can get a little arrogant and cocky, you know, and you can be dope and an original. I think about Andre 3000 and Lauren Hill. You know, but then you see the other sides, you know, with Joe Lee or Jeff Bezos or 50 Cent, you know, where you're like, ooh, you know. So, um, your philosophy is to be pioneering, to be outgoing, to take charge. So go do it. Whether it's in your career, your beliefs, your journeys, your pilgrimages. <sighs> Jupiter and Aries, you got it, but you have to believe in yourself and you have to try to be a little introspective because then you'll gain more wisdom, right? Aries is kind of childlike, you know, it's not the deep philosopher like Sagittarius or, or Pisces. So this can be tricky, but I have faith in you. 
Get your chart done so you know what house is in because it'll make a difference. If you're initiating relationships, if you're initiating communications, right? If you're manifesting, because this is your manifestation. This is like your superpower. Because trust me, when you sort of focus and concentrate and, and it's like Mars energy in a sense where it's assertive, but Jupiter, it's more spiritual. The positivity, the optimism. And when you focus with that energy of the sign and the house, they're both important. You can be the great preacher, the teacher, the professor, the football coach, the motivational speaker, the doctor, the firefighter, the police officer, the great athlete, singer, rapper, actor, or Pinky and the Brain, Jeff Bezos take over the world. <laughs> so hit me up. Subscribe, ring the bell. Let me know down below. Uh, do you want me to do it in order? Do you want Jupiter and Taurus next? Or do you want me to bounce around? Maybe hit up Virgo and Cancer and then, you know, Sag. I'll probably save Sag or Pisces. One of them. I mean, Pisces would be last if I do it in order. But I'll save one of them for last because that's where it's at home. The Cancer, where it's exalted. Eh, I might do it soon. It could be next. So hit me up, Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching. Get your Jupiter on, get on your, your philosophy, your knowledge, your studies, your education, <laughs> your superpower, your manifestation powers, and you can do it. Okay? So um, just don't be, you can also preach to brainwash and manipulate people. So be careful on the low vibration because Aries is very magnetic like that. You can lead people to the dark side, to wrong things. Okay? But I know nobody watching my stuff would do that, right? You see, you got to be righteous. All right, Jupiter and Aries, thank you. Keep initiating. Be assertive, but be inspiring. Lead those kids. Lead your coworkers. Lead your family. Lead and philosophize and preach with positivity. All right? Eric Taylor, Taylor to you, coach. Jupiter, pew, 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 pew. Be the Ram superhero. I love Aries the Ram. Eric Taylor. Taylor to you coaching. Peace.